On Sunday, October 11, 2015, I headed out with my dad to the states of Delaware and Maryland for a nice chain of action from the usual Norfolk Southern footage around central Pennsylvania. I would visit three places, the CSX Philadelphia subdivision in Ellesmere, Delaware, the Wilmington and Western Railroad and their steam and diesel locomotives, respectively, and finally, the Amtrak Northeast Quarter. Each place would give us some spectacular subjects in a variety of locations. I left early in the morning to head to the CSX Philadelphia subdivision. This line is the Farmer, Baltimore, and Ohio, or B&O main line, between Philadelphia, PA at the north and Baltimore, Maryland at the south of the line. The previous day, I seemed to report that one of the CSX Philadelphia bound oil trains, K140, was coming into Philly with a trio of BNSF SD70 variants. The last ship was as follows an SD70 Ace Leader, an SD70 Mac and Executive Paint trailing, and another Mac and H2. Knowing this, ba this power would turn on a train that would head on the Philly sub, I headed out early in hopes of catching this power at Ellesmere. I was proven right. Right as we pulled in, the signal was turning from yellow to green. Ten minutes later, at 7.22 a.m., just shy of sunrise, K-14510, Philadelphia, PA to Chicago, Sertso, BNSF, Illinois, roared west and started the over 1,500-mile journey back to the Bakken oil fields and crossed the Centerville Road Railroad crossing in Ellesmere, Delaware with the trio and a monster Nathan K-5 LLA Airhorn on the leader.
CSX Intermodal L03111 headed south toward Jacksonville with a CSX Eagles 40DC and YN3 and CSX AC44 CW and YN2 for power. <laughs> Pacific SD45. This is my first sighting of one of these units.
Our next stop was the Wilmington and Western Railroad. This is a tourist road that f runs on a former Baltimore and Ohio branch. The railroad was running their autumn specials. Both steam and diesels were being used on this date. We would chase the train from Fox Hill Lane to Mount Cuba Road and back so we could see both locomotives running, which were running push-pull. The steam locomotive 98 is a 440 or American type locomotive. This type of locomotive was built from the late 1830s to the late 1920s and over 25,000 engines were built. For those who don't know steam locomotives, they are classified by their wheels. 98 is a 440 because she has two sets of pilot wheels, two sets of driving wheels, and no firebox wheels. This, this system is known as the white system. It was invented by Frederick Melvin White in 1900. Regarding 98 herself, she was built by the American Locomotive Company, or ALCO, in Schenectady, New York in 1909 and ran on the Mississippi Central Railroad until 1944. For those who have watched some of our previous videos, ALCO also later built diesels and was the only steam locomotive builder to briefly survive the transition to making diesels. We have filmed many of their diesels on freight railroads. The, uh, the diesel at the Wilmington and Western is X Lehigh Valley 114 SW1. We filmed 98 pulling the train east and 1114 going back. 98 had a logging 3 chime and 114 had a Leslie RS3L. <laughs>
station here was built in 1905 by the Pennsylvania Railroad. Amtrak does not stop, but the trains run by all the time. We would see three Amtrak Northeast Regionals here. All of them had the new Siemens ACS 64s for power. The last train, 99, had Amtrak 642 Veterans Engine leading. Thanks for watching Alex Gillespie Real Productions. Look for more narrated videos coming soon.